welcome to today's video. As you can see behind me, we are at another Scuba Gymkhana Okajuku event, one of Okachan's drift training days. And as you can see, a lot of people out there learning today. We got a fair few trucks here, we got my K van. I want to call this the UK van or the UK or something like that. Give me another idea uh, because this thing is seriously gross and we're only going to use it a few times. That guy's like 15, 16 years old and he's killing it. Um, but like I said, help me out with the name with this K van. I don't want to kind of like, you know, go with Jimmy Oaks' theme with the E32, but something along the lines of like, ooh, K van, or something like that, because it is gross if you saw the last video. But anyways, a lot of cool cars here today. We'll get to that later. We need to mount the PVC pipe to the tires on the K van, so let's go do that. As you guys would have just seen, we got the PVC on there with a whole bunch of help from a bunch of friends and I could not have done it without them. We got it done so much faster than I was expecting. And as you can see, because there's no air in the tire right now, you kind of get all these spots here. So we're gonna put some air in there and hope that it fills out and uh, we should be good. Hopefully it doesn't explode in my face or anything weird like that. Should be okay, I hope. <laughs> Got some air in there now. I only went to like 1.6, 1.7 bar because I didn't want to like expand the tire too much inside the PVC where it was then going to split the PVC. So I will experiment with air pressures today if we have any problems, but feels pretty solid. So I'm going to go out and give this a go, I guess. We'll go put it on the K-Van and see how she goes. Everything about this feels so wrong. Like everything. I don't know how to describe it to you guys, but like, if you've ever been a, like into drifting, mounting the PVC to the tires, then putting this on the car, it feels just wrong. So wrong. Part of me is expecting these to break the moment the weight of the car goes on them. Let's find out. They're on the ground. I'm gonna hold the weight. Seems like it is. All right, I think, I think we're good. At least I hope we're good. So I think the number one thing I'm most excited about with this is aircon. I can literally drift with aircon cranking and this thing actually surprisingly has really good aircon. Anyways, I'm gonna move my seat a little bit further forward so I can grab the wheel. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, like if I need to, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna go out there and um, see what it's like, see, see if I can drift. Taking a quick moment to remind you about the merch drop that is coming really, really soon. Check out this cool clip. Oh wow, the wheels spin so easily in the rear. Oh wait, I guess I need to put this into like low or something. And I can just brief the e-brake? I mean, I don't even know. Ah, this is so weird! What just happened? I think I need to use second gear. It's so weird! It's so weird. All right, I'm getting off the track. It feels so weird. This is gonna take so long to get used to. It's so slippery. <laughs> to be honest, I wonder if you're meant to use like only a front wheel drive car, you know? <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> like driving in the wet you don't want to put a bunch of input into the steering otherwise you'll over rotate really quickly so let's see if we can get this this little entry oh 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 we got it boys we got it we got it we got it we got it yes 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 Oh, 
Oh, so close. Oga Chan's decided to jump in. Ultima. <laughs> Ultima there. Oh. <laughs> Straight into it. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. PVC, <laughs> oh, the PVC pipe just broke. None there. So as you guys just saw, uh, one of the PVC things just completely obliterated itself when Okachan decided to take it for a drive. And I'm not entirely sure why. I suspect it's because like I don't really know what kind of level of air to put in these. Um, but Tomata san's gonna reach out to his friend who does this all the time and get some advice from him. Um, but we already got another one on there. It was pretty easy. Like now that we know what we're doing, it's so much easier to just pop these on. I'm gonna go air this up. And uh, from there, we'll just kind of keep figuring it out, but I only have one more left. So I hope we don't uh, keep breaking them. One other thing is that everyone's told me is don't let them get too hot. And that's when they start to break is when they heat up a lot. So I suspect as well, because this is rear wheel drive and we're spinning the rear wheels a lot, um, it's gonna heat these up a lot quicker. So maybe like two runs and let it cool down and go again kind of thing. I don't know, but we'll go from there. We'll figure it out. We're gonna give this another go. We got a new PVC on there. It's starting to rain, which I think is gonna be good for keeping the PVC cold. But let's fire this up. The quietest drift car I've ever owned. Do I need a seatbelt? Do I even need a seatbelt for this thing? <laughs> All right, let's get going. Less air. All right, we got one more left. Let's try not to mess this up. I'm gonna try putting more air in it than before because I feel like what's happening is it's bending like under the weight of the car and that's what's causing it to break. So if I put more air in there, maybe that'll help or that could stretch it out even more and make it break. I don't know, but I tried lower air and I feel like it broke way faster than before. So I think more air is the key. Let's give this another go, hey? I bought three, uh, three bar in the tires and that seems to fill it out more and it looks a lot more stable. So I think maybe that's the key, but I mean, we'll find out. I'm just going to be really upset if I didn't get a few really good laps in, but I'm just going to do like one or two laps and then let it cool down just in case that's the problem. So let's, uh, let's give this a rip. Summit is crazy. Crazy ugly. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> hey, taxa. Baka. <laughs> 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 いや、早いだろ、バカ。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。ははははは。はは
It's a lot of fun, but I need to work out how to get them to last longer. If I get a smaller tire, maybe that'll help. You know what, I don't have PVC, but let's try and drift it anyway. Oh man, it's so hard without a manual. So my game plan right now is I'm gonna put a whole bunch more air in the rear, like six kilo or 60 PSI, and just try and get this thing to drift even better and slide out, it'll be awesome. Kind of trying to calm down from the whole like, nearly rolling the K-Van. I'm sure something's bent in that now. But this is Shota Sun's Mark II. And uh, this thing is really cool. It's a completely different style to my chaser. Um, obviously slammed, a lot of smoke pouring out of it. He's hit it a few times. Very cool car. And he's gonna let me take it for a spin. Um Nani mission desu ka? Supra Supra mission. Get Dragon mission. Okay. So I was just talking to Shota before I jumped in and he said that this is actually a chaser and that it, he had to do a Mark II swap on it um, because he crashed it so much. So that's why it's got a Mark II front and rear end. It's kind of cool. I'm sitting so low in this though. It's so different to my chaser. This is weird too. Strange. Definitely third entry doesn't work, but like the gearing just feels so 
weird with the super transmission. It's not bad, it's just different. It's not an R154. I wonder what rear diffy would have in this to compensate with the super transmission and the get drag. Still feels good though, it's nice and responsive. I wonder what turbo he has on it. Alright, last lap. Dai-chan's back. Dai-chan genki eh? Genki! How old are you at the moment? You're nine years old? So he speaks like perfect English. Hey, do you want to learn how to drive? Do you want to learn how to drive? Yeah. Come with me, put your crazy card down, let's go. Okay, before we go anywhere, whoa, 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 okay. whoa. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Before we go anywhere, what do you need to do? Move your seat forward so you can reach the pedals and your back is against that. All right. So you gotta lift the lever up and slide forward. Where is the lever? Should be right there. All right, all the way forward. Can you reach yeah. the pedal? Yeah, I could. Little rev? Yeah. Little rev for me? Huh? Do a little rev. All right, there we go. All right, seatbelt. Okay, so this is automatic, so you don't need to worry about a clutch or a shifter, okay? Okay, I have to brake. So brake first. Now, all right, okay, yep, now put it into drive. Don't use the accelerator though, remember? No accelerator. Now just a little bit off the brake, don't turn yet. You wanna go out first so we don't hit the truck. Okay, so just a little bit, all right. Now to the right, turn to, damn man, this guy's a pro. Do you <laughs> do you practice on like your PlayStation or something? No. You ever driven like on a simulator? All right, stop, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. Oh my out. gosh. You got this, you got it. All right, don't hit your parents' expensive Range, Range Rover. Rover. Yeah. All right, now slow, now check for traffic. All right, we good? Yeah. Okay, head out onto the track. <laughs> this guy's like driving this thing like it's no... Pr what? You even let go of the wheel to let it straighten out. You're gonna be a pro drifter in no time. This guy already knows what he's doing. It's force feedback. It's force feedback. Okay, he's been on a sim. Slow down, slow down. All right, all right. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. <laughs> this car costs $500? Yeah, there's a $500 car. Oh my God. <laughs> it handles like trash. It handles like $500 car would. <laughs> I think it handles so good. Oh yeah? Well this is the first car you've ever driven, right? Yeah. Alright, because people are drifting, we got to be careful and just make sure we always look out for them, okay? So someone's coming now, let them go through and then you can go out the exit. Alright. You're doing pretty good, man. Do a few more laps. This guy's a pro, man. Yeah. Doesn't need teaching at all. This handle is so big. It handles good? Jeez, man. It handles so Wait big. Wait till you drive a, oh, handles yeah. so big? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it is a bit big. Can I do a burnout? Can you do a burnout? All right, I'll teach you how to do a burnout <laughs> in a little bit then. This car doesn't do good burnouts, though. So. Horn works, push it hard. Oh, there you go. Crap. It's loud, right? <laughs> Jeez, man, this kid's good. Nine years old, hey? And Nine driving a car. Maybe I can make a song with me. Maybe next year we can put you in a Sylvia and start teaching you how to drift. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I'm 10 years old. When you're 10 years old, yeah, maybe. We'll see, we'll have to ask your parents, but. I do want to drift. All right, go out here. Let's find a puddle of water and see if we can get you to do a burnout. Okay. I'm gonna wait here in the corner. Okay, keep going this way. This way a bit more. All right, so see, there's a lot of water down there, right? So let's get the car positioned there. Keep going, keep going. All right, stop. Okay. Perfect, you're in the water. All right, so what I want you to do, yeah. so we're gonna put this all the way down into number two. Oh, now two, foot, two. with your left foot, yeah. 
Put it on the brake as hard as you can. Push it as hard as you can. All right, now throttle. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, just hold it, hold it. Yay! Daychan's first burnout. <laughs> it's making smoke. You're killing it, man. <laughs> All right, buddy, stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Your first burnout. Put it in park and have a look at the smoke. All the way in park. You're in reverse. Park. One more. Come look at this. Oh, the smoke's going. Quick. But look, your first burnt rubber. That's your first burnt rubber. You burnt rubber, my guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the things you can do with the track here. Did you have fun? All right. Do you want to buy this from me? 500 bucks. I'm scared of it now since I put it on two wheels. <laughs> All right, let's go park it. Okachan is going to let me do some laps in his D1 car. And I'm going to chase Maraksan. Maraksan, Najibu. Okay? Let's get it. Najibu is car. Let's get it. Just a little bit. Tan tan. Tan tan. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't want me to hit him. All right, well, let's get as close as we can in a controlled environment and have some fun. Let's get the GoPros rolling and go. All right, let's hope the car doesn't break on me this time. How many times have we driven this and it's broken? Uh, we'll do a few warm up laps and then we'll get right into it. Gotta get used to this. This is an RB25 transmission from an R33 Skyline. It's a bit different this one. I should be able to do this in second because the RB transmission is very long in the second gear. I wanted to show you guys inside the engine bay of this thing. Um, I'm just going to call it a JZX because it's a chaser but with a Mark II front end and a Cresta rear. Um, but this is the turbo that he's got in there. He's got a huge turbo. No wonder this thing kind of felt a bit laggy. Um, that's a massive turbo actually for a 1J. Still, it felt pretty good. Oil only too, no water. Interesting. Not bad. The super transmission, has it has a really weird feel to it. Like uh, the, final, the final gear is definitely different. It's kind of odd. But yeah, still a pretty cool car. And then kind of everyone, um, uh, Tamada-san broke his car like right away, blew up second gear, so his transmission blew up. Um, this guy's car, the, uh, 
the water cock in the bottom. No, I hate that it's called that. But the thing, the drain plug in the bottom of the radiator broke and started pissing out like coolant everywhere. So he's trying to pull that out and fix that. And pretty much I've just been giving lessons to Daichan in my little K-Van and teaching him how to drive. I'm still really upset about how we went through all this PVC today. I was hoping we were gonna get a bit longer out of it, but we'll come up with a solution. Get to, I found some smaller like wall tires that I think will do better. All right, all right, I'm coming. Take this guy out for a few more laps and then I'll probably pack up. So time to head home, unfortunately. Today was absolutely epic. Seriously, got to drive so many cool cars. We drifted the K-Van with PVC. Then we tried drifting it with no PVC. Nearly rolled the K-Van. Somehow saved it and made it home. I nearly didn't get home because of that. Um, today was definitely an interesting day to say the least. So, uh, man, I'm gonna get to a PA, get some Starbucks and we'll pick it up from there, but. This K-Van's done well. Uh, the only good thing it really has going for it though is the icy cold AC. <laughs> we definitely need to figure out something um, with the PVC though. I wanna make it more reliable. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were gonna have more issues than we did with it being rear wheel drive. But once like we got it drifting and I was on the throttle, it actually felt really good. I think the only thing that would probably make it better is if it was a manual K car, um, K-Van. So yeah, rear wheel drive PVC actually feels kinda good. Uh, it kind of feels like a drift trike if you guys have ever driven one of those, like those green machines. Anyways, um, we're going to pick things up once we get to the PA, like I said. I'm going to get a Starbucks and drink that because I haven't had my coffee today and I'm starting to get a bit antsy. Just got to the PA, got my Starbucks coffee, and exhaustion is now starting to set in. Always when you have such a good day drifting, like waking up early, going to the event and all that kind of stuff, um, it always, always drains you. And once it's all said and gone, there's never any energy left over. So most of the time I, I try to make sure that I'm not editing or, or staying up late the night after events um, because it just, it kills you. <laughs> I'm sure any one of you guys that are into driving know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. A lot of random fun stuff happened. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the title or thumbnail yet, but probably something to do with nearly rolling the K-Van, I don't know. But that was complete, like I've, I was joking that we were gonna roll it and I was trying to roll, like I was planning to roll this today. But after talking to Okachan and May, May was pretty worried about it. Okachan was kind of worried about it because he didn't have a, like his spare loader truck or anything, so that I could like actually take this van to the event with that, just in case we did. Um, so the plan was was that I wasn't going to roll it today, um, and then I nearly rolled it completely by accident, just trying to drift the thing. So. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button, rise a comment, and subscribe. Um, drop is coming up. Don't forget about that. Friday at 7 p.m. EDT time. You do not want to miss that. Um, and uh, with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.